Thank you, Senator Carper, and uh, thanks for holding the business meeting, but also thanks for the good hard work. I want to thank you and your staff for working diligently with me and my staff on these bipartisan bills, and we've been talking about this one for a while, so very pleased we're at this point uh, that we could partner on 3891, the Economic Development Reauthorization Act of 2024. I'm especially pleased that I have seven of my regional uh, planning and development council folks here from West Virginia, so why don't you guys stand up? And uh, so we can give you a little round of applause. <laughs> and uh, you might recall uh, Shane Whitehair uh, was one of our, uh, he's here with us today. He was one of our um, uh, witnesses uh, when we began uh, looking into the uh, reauthorization of this. So thank you, thank you all for coming. Um, <clears throat> as we know, the EDA is tasked with facilitating uh, economic development and creating jobs in distressed communities across the country, extremely important in our state. With EDA programs, receive, uh, they receive annual appropriations from Congress. It's been since 2008 since we have reauthorized this. It expired then. The legislation reauthorizes uh, these programs at fiscally responsible levels uh, for the fiscal years 2025 to 2029. It reasserts congressional direction over EDA funding decisions, enhances our oversight of the agency, preserves locally driven economic development decisions, and ensures that funding from EDA is accessible to distressed communities. It also codifies and authorizes dedicated funding for EDA's assistance to coal communities program, which was one of my top programs for the legislation. Uh, this program ensures that communities in my home state of West Virginia and also Pennsylvania as well, which were decimated by the downturn of the coal industry, have the resources they need to recover and grow. It also reauthorizes the regional commissions that were expiring or have already expired. It expands the type of activities that those commissions can carry out in their communities and modernizes their administrative requirements. This legislation incorporates policy priorities from every member of this committee as well as input from stakeholders provided at hearings, including Mr. Whitehair, who came from West Virginia. I'm pleased to co-sponsor this bill with Chairman Carper, Senator Kelly, and Senator Kramer. Uh, today, we also will be considering S3791, the America's Conservation Enhancement Reauthorization Act. The ACE Act uh, helps conserve wildlife and wildlife habitat. Specifically, it reauthorizes the North American Wetlands Conservation Act, the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation Establishment Act, as the chairman mentioned, and the Chesapeake Bay Program. The Chesapeake Bay Program supports conversation and habitat restoration efforts in the Chesapeake Bay, which will help to boost West Virginia and many of the members of this committee's outdoor recreation industry, especially in my eastern panhandle. The legislation also protects livestock from predators and combats invasive species. I was pleased to co-sponsor this bill with Chairman Carper and many of our colleagues on the committee. And lastly, we will consider 3858, the Legacy Mine Cleanup Act of 2024, as the chairman mentioned, a bipartisan bill by Senator Kelly and Senator Lummis. This bill will codify the EPA agency office that coordinates cleanup of legacy mining sites on tribal land, some of which provided uranium to support our nation's national security throughout the Cold War. Federal government shares a responsibility in remediating these old sites. Just last week, the EPA added an abandoned uranium mine site located on Navajo Nation to the Superfund National Priorities List. I look forward to continuing to collaborate on this issue while we work to get my bipartisan, our bipartisan, nuclear energy bill, the Advance Act, signed into law. I urge my colleagues to support From your all, lips to God's ears. <laughs> all of these three bipartisan bills. Thank you.